Good evening, good morning, happy Tuesday or whatever day you end up watching this. I hope that you're doing well. I am super excited to do this round, um, not only because it's a really great workout, but also because I am so hungry. I want my dinner. <laughs> I just know that like over the years of working out, and tell me if you agree or not, like stuffing yourself before a workout because raise your hand if you've ever done it i think everyone has made the mistake of eating too much food and then you go work out <laughs> it's not a fun time i'd much rather be a little bit hungry than a little bit too full you know so anyways hello oh hey yolanda it's okay hopefully you can do this live at another time it's gonna be a good sweaty one. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's gonna be real sweaty. I'll wait just a, a couple minutes for some people to hop on. Um, who said that they were gonna do this? Kathy said she was gonna do this. Both Kathys, <laughs> Kathy with a C and Kathy, Kathy with a K. Um, and Jen said she was gonna do this. Um, Kathy Lee, if you're watching the replay, um, her husband Garrett has done PIO and he normally doesn't do group exercise. And that's the really fun thing about this particular class. I've had a lot of dudes try PIO and be pleasantly surprised at how much this kicks their butt. Because generally speaking, this is a lower impact workout, meaning that we're not gonna be jumping so much. There's In the power section, there's an option to jump, but you never have to jump. And this is more about lengthening, strengthening, using your own body weight. This is functional training, things that are gonna help you build those muscles that you use in your day-to-day -day life. It's gonna help with your posture. This is gonna help prevent injuries so that you're stretching out your IT band, your inner thigh, you're strengthening your glutes. Your whole posterior chain is like really lazy. So anytime we can focus on strengthening your backside and engaging those muscles because on their own, unless you tell them to, they're really not going to engage. And therefore, that's how we get a lot of those like lower back pains or um, knee pains or things like that. Um, so yeah, I just love this workout because it's so dynamic. Um, it's perfect for my little AD, ADD brain <laughs> because we move from one move to another and you, you kind of don't realize how much pain you're in until you're done. The goal of this class or any class I teach pretty much what determines what I end up teaching is um, if it makes the hour go by fast. That's what I really enjoy about this particular workout. So um, hopefully my connection is good. Hey, Jen. Hey, Valerie. Okay, let's do it. You ready? This is, I'm going to try to look cute. <laughs> but we both, you and I both know I ain't fooling nobody. So... <laughs> Um, let's do this. Okay, let me let me check the the sound real quick. for this one because I want you to actually hear what I have to say. Um, can I show you something? I'm going to show you one move from the warm-up and then uh, one move from heat building because I just kind of want to not have to stop between the warm-up and the heat building. And then after that, every section, I'll preview some of the trickier moves or go over form and technique to help you get the most out of it. And then um, we'll just kind of go with that pace. So in the warm-up, the first three moves, I'm not going to show you. They're pretty standard. Uh, but I do have a side lunge that we're going to do. So you'll end up doing a side lunge. Make sure you sit your hips back. All the weight is in your heel. Your chest is up. A mistake that I typically see sometimes is people bring their chest down so they can get lower. Um, but I want you to sit back in the hip and keep the chest up. That's going to wake up your core even more. Um, and shoulders are stacked on top of the hips. So this leg is straight but a micro bend and you'll be down and up. You're going to be warming up that inner thigh and then you'll reach up and over. You'll make it pretty. <laughs> All that good stuff. So that's the warm up. In the heat building, um, we're going to have sun salutations. So again, always, you never have to go on your toes. If you ever feel like your hips are sagging, come down to your knees 
And my girlfriend Chelsea, she, we were doing push-ups today in our strength training workout, um, and she made a really good point that if your push-ups, so if you're down here in your push-ups, and you look like your butt looks cute while you're doing them, right? So you're like, oh, hey, like it's the stripper butt. You're not doing it right. Make it ugly, tuck it underneath, squeeze one straight line from the crown of your head all the way down to your spine, belly button in. This is how we do our push-ups. It's not here, okay? <laughs> Keep your back nice and flat. So on that sun salutation, you take a nice deep inhale, you exhale forward fold, we do a flat back, hands either on your thighs or on your calves, but extending out from that spine. Then we collapse. We step back into plank, either on the toes or on the knees, lower down halfway. You put your tops of your feet on your mat and you lift your chest up, thighs away from the floor. Seal your inner thighs. You want to think like a turtle coming out of its shell. So make sure your wrists are stacked right on top of your shoulders and you're pulling your shoulder blades back and down. So that's an up dog. Uh, and then you tuck your toes, bring it into a down dog. If your hamstrings are super tight, just make sure you bend your knees a little bit more. Um, and then step it in. Then the sequence that we're gonna be following for uh, heat building is slow, quick, quick. So we'll have like a bowler's lunge, and then tap out, and then you'll have two quick. Yeah, and then you'll go the other way. Slow, bump, and then too quick. If at any time it's like, what's going on? Just do something. <laughs> Something's better than nothing, you know? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's stand nice and tall at the top of our mat. I know this is not my, uh, son, son. this is not my um, most popular format, but man, is it necessary. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold. Bend that right knee. Bend that left knee. Roll it up, roll it up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend that right knee. Get some movement through those legs. Nice deep inhale. Big exhale. Bend that right knee. Bend the left. This song's called Don't Be So Hard On Yourself. Yeah? Bend that right knee. Then that left, now, left leg back behind. For three, two, tap it in. Again, lunge back. Perfect, all that weight in that heel, chest is up, abs in. Oh yeah, and a smile on that face. Switch it, right leg back. For three, two, one, nice and tight. Breathe, your hands can do whatever they like. Maybe I'll keep it here so I can keep my balance. One more. Now squat down for two. Squeeze your booty. Flat back. Bend the knees round the back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. squat. Chest up. That feels so good. Flat back. Bend the knees round the back. Nice. So you'll feel a little stretch in that lower back. Flat back. Round it up. Articulate through that spine. Flat back, bend the knees round up, step up, side lunge, down and up, now top arm up and over, reach, hands down on that thigh for two, sit that hip back, chest up, top arm up and over, reach, switch it, other side, down and up, top arm, big, big reach, whoa, I hit the wall, <laughs> down, down, Top arm, reach. From the top, inhale, arms up. Forward fold. Bend the knees. Right and left. Inhale, arms up. Woo! Come on, get that energy, baby. Bend it. How do you lose down? Left, right leg back. Whoa! <laughs> do it again, do it again. I couldn't decide which leg. It's all good. Switch it other leg. Three, two. One, tap it in. Y'all are making me nervous. Squat two. Keep that chest up. Flat back. Bend the knees round it. Oh, isn't that so delicious? Flat back. Bend the knees round it. I love that move. Side one, step out. Hey, top arm up and over. Reach, 
do that again. Switch, switch. Left, high. Sorry, I just wanted to go a little bit higher. Top arm. Don't be so hard on yourself. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold. My advice to myself always. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Bend the knees. We're doing amazing. Left leg back for three. Three. Hands a little faster. Inhale. 
Isabella. Forward fold. Half lift. Down into plank. On the toes or knees. Lower down halfway. A dog. Down digging dog. Feet to hands. Inhale overhead. Forward fold. Half lift. Down into plank. Lower down halfway. Up dog. Down dog. Too quick. Down and out. Switch it. Other side. Slow. Tap out. Too quick. You got it? Yes. Inhale. Arms overhead. Smile. Forward fold. You feel good. Flat back. Down into plank. Lower down halfway. Up dog. Down dog. Feet to hands. Inhale. Overhead. Come on. Proud. Strong. Too quick. Hit it. Hit it. Other leg. Slow motion. Wave in the heels. Too quick. Too quick. Too quick. <laughs> Inhale. Arms overhead. Forward fold. We're jamming. Half lift. Nice. Down in the plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Feet to hands. Look at us. Inhale up. Forward fold. Killing it. Half lift. Down into plank. Cowabunga, dude. Up dog. Down dog. Ready? Feet to hands. Squat slow. Slow. Too quick. You better be squeezing those buns. Come on, slow. Abs and tight. Too quick. Like you're trying to fit into some jeans out of the washer. Left leg back. <laughs> right? And they're not stretchable. Inhale, arms overhead. Shoulders back and down. Tuck your pelvis underneath. Stretch out your hip flexor because we're going to definitely use it today. Step and switch. Other side. Collect those fingertips into the sky. Keep keeping your head up. Tuck that tailbone underneath. Strong, like someone's about to take your Instagram photo. drink of water. Ooh, I like it when we just flow from one section to the next. It feels so much better. Okay. How you doing? Is anybody even on here? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Is anyone even on here? Who's on here? Show yourself. Okay. Ready? Four moves for lower body. Four moves, okay? They're very easy because they kind of build on each other. You're going to have, I'm going to suggest a wider lunge so you have a wider base of support because you're going to do a lunge prep. So you're going to reach down with your chest up, yes? You want to read my shirt, it says namaste, itches. So you're going to come down and then you're going to lift in that lunge prep. From the side, I come down and then I lift. When I lift, I'm squeezing my posterior backside, my glutes, my hands, my humps, okay? I'm squeezing my humps. <laughs> lift up, abs in nice and tight. I'm not all the way up here, yeah? I'm at like 45 degrees. Squeeze my glute. Down, lift up. Down, lift up. That's why I said play with your foot placement so that when you lift up and down, you're not gonna like fall over. And if you fall over, totally cool too. Then you're gonna hold this up Pulse it, I'll take you through it. Then leg back behind, bowler's lunge, option one. Bowler's lunge, option two, yeah? So rib cage to hip bone. Think about the end of your rib cage touching the beginning of your hip bone. Clap, clap. <laughs> you have to make the sound effect too, clap. Down, lift up, then you're gonna hold it here. This is like adductor, abductor. This is like for that little, you know, like right here when you lift up your leg and you got that little poochie oochie right there. It's like that outer hip action. Okay? Got it? Yes, girlfriend. Okay, let's do it. Right leg in front, left leg back. Find that good base of support, okay? Whatever makes you feel stabilized and supported. Hold it up, hold it 
your, uh, your rotator cuff and your shoulders later on down the line, okay? All right, then we roll up and we hit bam. Um, here's the meat and potatoes or the tofu and veggies of, of this section. So we are going to be in a low lunge, okay? So low lunge, you brace your abs, high lunge. Option here, you can either reach down to the floor or you can have your hand on your thigh and you're reaching down as low as you can and then lift yourself up into a high lunge. Yeah? Then you come back down into a low lunge. The leg that's in front is the leg that's going to go into the sky and you're going to do a single leg down dog. Okay? Hopefully my leg looks good. <laughs> it always looks good in my head. And then we um, step back into the low lunge. We're gonna do that sequence a few different times. So you're gonna hold two, three, four, lift two, three, four, down two, three, four, the leg that's in front goes into the sky, two, three, four, yeah? And then you come back down. Part two, because I'm gonna be upside down while we're doing this. Now I regret wearing my hair cute. Um, we're gonna be in that single leg down dog, okay? So single leg down dog, then you're gonna pull your knee to your elbow and then lift it up, okay? You'll do that two times. Then I'm gonna face you for this part. You're gonna step your foot out wide. Your other leg is back. You're gonna connect ankle to ankle, step and back. Oh my God, this is so hard. I don't have enough. My camera should be further away. Okay, here, one more time, one more time. Single leg down dog, knee to elbow, Lift it up, then the leg that's in the air, you're gonna step it wide, yes? And then connect, and then bring it back and together. Does that make sense? So the leg that was in the air is gonna be the leg that steps out wide, kind of like a low lunge. You can keep the low lunge, or you can bring that back foot and connect ankle to ankle, step back, and then come back into our low lunge. If you feel like a hot mess while you do this, Totally okay. I challenge you to try it again though. Like do it this time and then try to do it again some other point during the week. And I promise you, you will be a lot stronger the second time around. Okay, ready? What did someone say something to me? <laughs> okay, let's do it. It looks good. Let's do it. Back. Walk it up. Walk it 
burpee. Sumo burpee. Here we go. Feet wide. Feet back. Feet wide. Lift up. You can clap or just stay nice and wide. All right? Option, you can come down. Step it back. Step it wide. Lift up. You'll only give me two of those if you're doing the non-impact version. And without ever hitting the ground, three, two, one, lift up. Then the last part, toes turned out, tailbone tucked underneath, and we've got hopping squats. They're very, very little, okay? And if you're not hopping, you're just down at your lowest part pulsing. Sound groovy? All right, no time to think about it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I dare say that my behavior is unacceptable. So condescending and the sister and the critical. I have the tendency of getting very critical. So watch your step as if I do it. Down and clap. Down. Up, up. Up, up. If you want to use your voice, use your voice. I highly recommend it. Psych yourself out. Up, up. 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 Up,
remember when I taught this a couple months ago, like I literally like could not breathe after I was done. So it just goes to show you the power of doing things over and over again. Repetition, consistency wins, consistency wins. It's not good to just cram pack all your workouts in a short amount of time. It's about that distance. It's the tortoise or the hare, right? You want to be the tortoise. You want to be the pio tortoise. All right, ready? The flow. The flow, the grow, the low, the so. <laughs> Did you see that TikTok from that one guy? Okay, sorry, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I don't want this workout to be an hour and a half, so let's do it, Jen. Okay, I'm going to do my left leg just to show you. Feet up nice and wide, wide base of support. Round your back and then open. Round your back, open. Move two, turn your back foot out, pyramid. You're gonna hinge, lift up your tailbone, feel the stretch in the back of that front leg, down and then lift up. So you're gonna square your hips and then lift up. If you've ever seen, I can't remember what they're called, but you know the little like um, rooster thing? Not the rooster the cock a doodle doodle thing. I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but you know the thing that goes into water? <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Okay, then what are you doing next, Jen? Oh, reverse low lunge. Reverse low lunge, and then you tap that back foot in and down. So you hold your arm up, then you connect and back. Hold two, three, four, connect and back, yes? Option here is you can be upright, hold it here, and then connect and back, yes? Then the leg that's in front is gonna go high into the sky and you're gonna do a single leg down dog with a bent knee flexed foot and you're gonna hold here. Then from here, part two, you come down and you come into a right angle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right angle, hi. Oh yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it, sorry, it's been a minute. <laughs> I just knew I liked the song, that's all. Right angle. Then you extend this front leg, bring that back foot in, triangle. So you reach forward and then lift up. Reach to me and then reach up to the ceiling. Reach to me, reach up to the ceiling, yeah? Kick your hip to the back of the room. Then my favorite, warrior one push, square your hips and shoulders. Push and then reverse. Push, reverse, last one. Tap front, back, and then sweep back to front. So your toes are turned out to the sides. You're gonna keep your chest up, push your hips back. Touch, touch, and abs and tight, and hands together like blades to make a rainbow. Okay? Got it? <laughs> Got it? All right, that was a long break. Here we go, you should be fresh. One song, one leg, one song, other leg. Eight moves, introduce them four and four. Here we go. Like a river. Right leg. Like a river. Tell a story with your body. Like this is poetry in motion.
One more. Yeah! Whoosh. Nice job! Thank you. Sorry, I get really cheesy when I do the flow section sometimes. <laughs> or reverse lunge or you know what I mean are we speaking the same language or am I cuckoo for cocoa puffs I don't know <laughs> okay you want to do some stretch and strength and then we'll call it a night because I think it's already past an hour you it's an hour exactly okay hi Christina oh yay Australia is you here in Australia Australia in the house, formerly PDX in the house. Okay, let's do some stretch and strength. What, what is it again? We're gonna have, um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a stretch and then we'll do a strength portion. So strength number one will be warrior three. Yes, flex the foot behind us. Make sure your hips are squared. Um, second one is gonna be a tricep connector. So you're gonna be either Hi, what will you be doing? Well, I have two options for you, okay? I'll show you. So you're gonna have a single leg, um, three point balance, then you're gonna bring your head down, you're gonna connect and bring your elbows in, and then push your leg up. So this is tricep connect, and then lift up. So what I'm trying to do is trying to bring my head down to the ground while I pull my elbows back. Option there is to do no tricep connect, and you just connect you go up here and you just connect ankle to ankle. If your hamstrings are so tight that you can't touch the floor without your knee bending, then it helps to grab like a box or I don't have anything. Here's this, uh, here's my external hard drive that doesn't work. So I could, I could grab this and I could do my single leg um, split. You know what I'm saying? And I could connect and I can lift. So that's like what, like if you had a yoga block or a box. And then the last one is a um, down dog push up. So fingertips facing each other. You're gonna be in a pike position. You're gonna be on your tiptoes and you're gonna lead with your head. So we're gonna work the top of those shoulders. Okay, you have to think like this is preparing you to have the upper body strength to do a, a handstand. Got it? All right, let's do it. Things that she 
But if you were perfect in every single workout you ever tried, how boring would that be? Bring the feet back. I know for me, why I like uh, particular workouts is because they, they either challenge my mind, my coordination, they take up all my attention and focus, like I really can't think about anything else other than following choreography. Um, or there's moves where like they look really cool and I can't do them yet, but I want to get better at them. Crisscross those feet, reach to one side. It's kind of like dating. And if you're not on the dating scene, I'll let you know how it is. Um, it's like someone that's a little mysterious. Like you're not quite sure what they're all about, but you're very intrigued. Switch other side. Versus someone that just like lays it all out there, like the very first time you meet them. You know what I mean? Like that has a time and a place, but usually vulnerability is one of those things you gotta like work up to. Bring one arm across. Oh, I need this stretch for sure. My shoulders worked overtime today. And my chest. But our workouts are kind of like that, right? Like you swipe, what is it? You swipe left or you swipe right? Which one's the one where you're swiping because you like them? Switch other side. Anyways, let's say you swipe right. Swipe left. <gasps> I deleted my app, so I'm not swiping shit. <laughs> Bring those hands back. But anyways, you know what I mean. If you matched with Pio and it intrigues you, well, you better just keep trying it. Trying it until you be in a committed relationship with it. <laughs> Bring those hands forward, sorry. I'm not making any sense. Last one, neck roll. Pio to me is like it's like the, the per, it's like the person that you swipe on that isn't maybe like the best like looking, um, but they've got a really kick-ass personality and it kind of makes up for it, you know? Nice deep inhale. Pio is definitely not the hot girl of the workouts. Exhale. Nice deep inhale. Big exhale. Hands at heart center. All that negative energy, all those negative thoughts flow them all away. Take a bow. Namaste, bitches. <laughs> Pio's the diamond in the rough. All right, anyways. All right, guys. Bye. Have a great night. I'll talk to you guys soon.